Hi all, this is Dana here. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a really neat stitch called the Rhodes Heart. So this is a really really beautiful textured stitch. You can do it in the shape of a heart or you can do it in the shape of a square or a rectangle. Uh, the technique is the same. Um, here's a finished example here. This is uh, my newest freebie pattern. So I'm just going to focus so you can see that, and there's the Rhodes Heart there. So if you want access to this pattern, just click the little uh, link that's going to pop up on the side of the screen right now, and you'll get access to all the free patterns at Peacock and Fig. So that's the Rhodes Heart. So you can see it's got a beautiful um, texture to it. It's like three-dimensional. So in this demonstration, uh, I'm going to be showing it to you on Ada. Uh, right here, this is a 28 count fabric, so you can see I've kind of gone over two stitches, so it's a little bit trickier to count. So for the demonstration, I'm going to be doing it on a separate piece of fabric, just so you can see it a little bit more easily explained. So with the video, uh, sorry, with the pattern itself, it's going to come with this, um, this instruction sheet as well, so that actually does come with the pattern, so you can just download the pattern and basically follow the instructions on this sheet here. So as you can see here, you're going to start one off to the center. The reason is that this last stitch here, the, the vertical one, that's always going to be last. So you always start one off to the left. So you can see you're going to start here in the corner and you're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches and over two. So you're going to go from number one to number two. So you're going to go up seven over two. And you can see here I've already started here. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to focus this a little bit better. Sorry if it keeps going in and out of focus, it's tricky to keep it focused. So up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and across two, one, two, and then down there. So that's your beginning stitch. Oh, and of course it gets caught. There you go. So in this um, pattern here, I'm actually using a full strand of the red. You can use as many strands as you like, but I find the full strand does give it a nice full look, as you can see. And for the back stitch here, I've actually used two strands to give it a sort of a darker look. All right, so there's that one there. So that's, sorry, that's this one here, number one to number two. Next stitch is number three, and you're going to go diagonally up one from number one and you're going to go next to number two. So the trick is with this, if you're doing it for the first time, just follow the instructions and go really slowly and that way you're not going to make any mistakes. Alright, and then over one here. Alright, so that's your second strand. Alright, so the next one again, go up diagonally, so that was three to four, go up diagonally one to five, and again, one over. So this one's up diagonally one here. I'm just gonna focus so you can see. And then one over next to that one. Alright, so the next one here, again, you're gonna go up diagonally one here. Sorry, focus. You're gonna go up diagonally from your five over to your seven. But in this one, you're not going to go next to the six, you're going to go diagonally down one. So that's the trick with this, like just see like where you're going up diagonally, how many straight up you're going, how many over you're going, and then you, you'll be able to follow the shape. All right, so this one's up one diagonally here, and it's down diagonally from your last stitch on the other side. So up one diagonally here. Sorry, focusing. And then down one diagonally here. All right, and then you can see here your next three stitches are all straight up from each other. And same with these, they're all straight down from each other. So I'm just going to do those ones here. Again, if you have any uh, questions, you can. there's going to be a blog post linked in the video as well, and it will have a link to this free pattern as well. Okay. So this is a third of the fourth that are going straight up and straight down. And fourth of the fourth. So there's quite a few different ways you can do this, but this is the general concept of a Rhodes stitch. You just go, you're rotating around the center basically. So this is, stitch was actually created by Mary Rhodes. She was a um, I believe she was British. She was a needlepoint designer and instructor in uh, the 60s through the 80s, and so this is her invention. She was very much into textural stitches. So you can see here, I've gone 
diagonally over a stitch, so that's this one here. And again, you're going to go diagonally down from this one here. And again, you're going to go across three here and diagonally down. So that's your first one across. That's the second one. Sorry if I keep moving it out of the way. I'm trying not to bump the camera. Right, I'm just going to re-thread my needle. So this is a really, really pretty stitch to use for texture. Uh, like I said, you can do it in a square shape. You can do it in lots of different shapes. So this one's going diagonally down from here. And one more across here. Diagonally down. All right, so as you can see, we're almost done. You just got to do the center stitch here. So it's down one diagonally from here, and then it's going to be one longer down here. So I'm going to start right here. I can get my needle in. And here. Okay, there we go. Tricky one. All right, and then straight down there. So there you go, you have your perfect little Rhodes heart. Just zoom that in a bit more so you can see it. Oops. Because it doesn't want to zoom that closely. All right. So if you have any questions about this stitch, please do feel free to let me know. And like I said, if you do want the uh, the freebie pattern, uh, sorry for making you drink, Mom. It's my sort of snarky Mother's Day pattern as Mother's Day is about to come up soon. So if you'd like to get access to that free pattern, just uh, click the link that's going to pop up on your uh, the right of your screen right now, and you'll get access to all the free patterns. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. If you have any suggestions for other uh, tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know. And uh, if you like this uh, these videos, please subscribe below, and you can also click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, and that will actually give you notifications of every time I upload a new video. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And if not, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.